I still remember my first design using dental cut. It was more than 10 years ago, because I'm one of these dental technicians who was in the very beginning. It was in 2009. My first design was a first upper jaw premolar, number 14. I remember it perfectly. Imagine, 11 years using dental cut, eight hours a day, five days during the week, and in the weekends in shows, trainings, workshops. I'm not a dental technician. I consider myself an exocat dental technician. And not only me, because during this time, all the doctors have, I cooperate with have become in exocat doctors as well. So I would like to start with this presentation where I'm going to show you three patients. Two of them are designed using Plotvip, and the final one that it is this one. I have used Galway. We have seen during these 10 years too many presentations talking about how to create a digital patient. We have learned, we have understood during these years how important it is to create an aesthetic analysis. And what an aesthetic analysis is? An aesthetic analysis is a careful investigation of the qualities which belong to objects and events that evoke an aesthetic response. And if I want to evoke an aesthetic response, I need feelings. I need images of the patient. I still remember the first time I received a planification based on outlines, a keynote, and opened the email. What's that? I still remember the first time that the doctor sent me some images of the patients. They want to make a virtual wax up, please take into consideration, blah, blah, blah. It was really difficult. It was completely important not to make the mistake to change things during the treatment. So the connection between this planification, the connection between these images and the 3D models I have in front of me or the plaster models I have in my hands is extremely important. Otherwise, I'm completely lost because I'm not going to be able to connect the patient and my dental project. What is the problem we have in the dental laboratories? Is that we don't see patients. We have no patients in the lab. So imagine the possibility to create a virtual patient, a digital patient, and this patient is going to be with us, helping us to take correct decisions, helping us to choose the correct shape, the correct dental composition, helping us to make the correct planification. If I have not this information on my screen, I'm not able to make a diagnostic wax up. And the diagnostic wax up, the virtual diagnostic wax up, nowadays, thanks to all this information, is more diagnostic than the traditional one, because I'm going to use the same method that I use it when I test it in the patient's mouth. I can see the result before designing it. So it is very, very important. Think about this. Think about the face of the patient. Imagine that it is important to have different photographies in different smiles positions, aligned with, with, with my 3D models. Imagine that it is very important to have the face because I can play, I can rotate, I can view, I can change the translucency of the soft tissues and see my composition in different angles. Imagine the possibility to align the daikon files using dental cut. Why in dental cut? Because I can export the STL file of my planifications, and if the doctor, the surgeon I cooperate with is not an exoplan user, he can open my wax up in the daikon coordinate system I have saved it, and he can see this wax up, align it with the tag, with the daikon file in his own visualization. It is extremely important. With all these concepts, we are going to be able to create an individual smile, a beautiful smile. Our perception is completely different when we are working with patients. I can't make a diagnostic wax up only with a model. I need this connection. I'm a super fan of intraoral scanners because nowadays, thanks to this fantastic new way of working, now. I can change the way we work 
I can change my protocols. Now I can go faster. Imagine the possibility to register the occlusal surfaces of my provisional restorations I have been modifying during the treatment. Imagine the possibility to copy the position of the soft tissues. Imagine the possibility to copy the position of my emergency profiles, the pontics. This is something spectacular. And you're not going to be able to do that if you're not using an intraoral scanner. Imagine the possibility to register the position of the lips. This is something really cool. Imagine the, possi the possibility to start moving this virtual patient. We have recorded movements of the patient, and now my 2D, my 3D, my DICOM files, my models start moving in a dynamic way. My patient is now live in front of me, helping me not only to take correct aesthetic decisions, the function is extremely important, as everybody knows well. So we are ready now to make a wax up, otherwise it is not possible, it is only wax. Now we can do a virtual diagnostic wax up. I'm going to show you two cases with Plovdiv, uh, with my protocol, with my way of working, less is more. I do very basic things, only teeth with a computer. So it is very easy, and I would like to introduce you my protocols. I need faces. If I have not faces, I'm not going to be able to value the aesthetic planes I want to use. I will not be able to decide if I'm going to use the bipupillar plane, the bicomicillar plane, or arbitrary one. I don't know. I can't use these kind of images, because I have not information for sure that it is necessary because I can value here the connection between the wide aesthetics, the peak aesthetics, the morphology of the TS, the, morcho the morphology of the gingiva. It is extremely important, but I need faces, and I need this connection. My first step is the articulator. I need to record all these movements, and these movements are going to help me to value if the position I have choose for this new smile is going to be possible or not. Once these movements are recorded, I will be able to value it during this process. The connection between the image and the 3D models. I'm going to show you a trick. You know that make two photographies, one with the model retractor and another one smiling without changing the axis, sometimes it's completely impossible. There are techniques to do that, but they are not easy. So if you open one smiling images with a smile creator, you go to expert mode and you go to open uh, an image, and you load the same one, it will be automatically placed in the same position, then cut out the mouth, enter in expert mode again, go to Smile Creator, and change this first image to a second smiley one. So you are not going to align an image with an image, you are going to align a model with an image and a model with an image one more time. With two points is enough. Rotate the model. I like to use the outline view to value that the position of this upper jaw is well located, well placed in my model. I rotate the angle. In this case, the bipolar plane is going to be the reference one, the midline. I need to make this analysis to value the spaces and distribute the spaces. This peak curve is very important. The proportion guide. I'm not going to explain this now. I will explain it later. The 2D and the 3D living simultaneously. I can value the measurements, I can rotate it, I can make uh, movements when I move number 12, I move in number 22. This is something really easy. My first wax up using a smile creator was very fast, very easy. My seven years old can do that. So uh, we preview the smile, we can share this smile with the patient. Why not using web view with patients? Imagine that you are the patient and you can play with your smile during the weekend. Yes, I like this dental composition. I'm going to say yes to this treatment. We don't lose the position of the models in the articulator. It is very important. Now I have two positions, or three, or more. One of them are for aesthetics, and another one is going to be for occlusion. So if I trust of the position of my models, in the articulator for aesthetic, I lost. But now I have the possibility to value it aligned with the photography. Go on. 
I saved the anatomy as a, a steel file. I load it as a generic mesh. This is one of my favorite features in Dental CAD. I load the upper jaw model as a virtual wax app. Then I add this as an attachment. Now, it is not necessary to do that with Galway because in Model Creator, we have the possibility to fuse this anatomy and make a solid model, as Michael has told, that, told us before. But it recommends you to explore this possibility because if you understand this process, you are going to be very dynamic with your designs. It is a very powerful tool. Then I reform this model. I prepare it because I'm going to make a direct mock-up. I'm going to print a model. I'm going to take an impression of this model. I'm going to send this impression to the doctor. And with this silicone impression, the doctor is going to make a mock-up in the patient's mouth. So we can see the result before making the preps. We can see the result, and the patient can say to us, yes, I like this smile, or I would like to change whatever. So we value the space. The spaces are enough to receive or uh, philosophic veneers. We are going to, to design on this patient. The doctor, Roberto Patros, make these preparations. He sent us the 3D model. And with the patient still in the dental office, we value that the prep lines are correct, that we have a space enough. We can do that thanks to the intraoral scanner, for sure. I don't need to design the case again. The only thing I must do is add, remove mesh, extra jaw scan, replace the whole scan data, and change the upper jaw model to the prepared one. So I adapt the margins lines, I adapt the preps, and send it to the 3D printer or to the milling machine. I mill my veneers. I send it to the clinic. Everybody knows well this protocol of adhesive cementation of veneers, one by one. And we never lose information. With this technique, the result is 100% predictable. In the moment of the cementation, for sure, the gingiva is not correct here. You can see well, but two months later, you can see that the health of the soft tissues is incredible. Exactly the same shape. We used to scan the veneers once cemented, and we align it with our planification. And the result is perfect. What you see is what you get. I would like to show you another patient. She's from Germany. She came to all, one of our dental clinics in Barcelona because she wants to remove his anterior, all anterior crowns on work and work in the posteriors, changing this gold, old on lies. With one single photography is enough. Sometimes I do not need more. Two points, I align the upper jaw with the picture of the patient. I rotate it. I like to use the outline view because it is very helpful for me to value that the position of this model is precise. I need to have a good connection, a perfect connection. Otherwise, my decisions will be incorrect. This is perfect. Go on. The pupillar plane is going to be the reference plane. Go on with the smile design, with the proportions guide. I need to distribute these spaces, the speed curve. This is very easy, step by step. Sometimes I use the same shape of the patient's teeth. I have shown you how to do that in, another, in other presentations. Sometimes I use dental libraries. I have used a dental library on this patient, the best of two worlds. When I move the 2D, I'm designing a real shape. It is not a draw. It is a real anatomy. Everything is easy, fast. I can see the result before taking decisions. The patient is helping me. Most of the doctors I cooperate with send me the Smile Creator projects. So Everything is done. I send the model to the 3D printer because it is another uh, direct mock-up. I print the model. I send the model to the doctor. Show, please show the mock-ups to the patients in a big distance point of view. Because if you zoom in, you can see that it is in addition, and you see that it is not natural. Record videos, show these videos to the patient. It is really helpful. 
remove the crowns. We start with the preps, the preps of the posteriors. We receive the model, add remove mesh, extra your scan, replace the whole scan data. I don't need to design it again. The only thing I must do is adapt my planification. I don't need to take decisions. Everything is already done. I remember that I designing this case in Sao Paulo, and I sent the veneers to the laboratory. The veneers, uh, I have a, a machine with a loader, and when I arrive to the laboratory in the morning and stain it and send it to the doctors, and this is very simple protocol. You can work very fast. I love working with monolithic materials. Less is more, because with some staining techniques, I stratificate the stains of the porcelain with microscope. I dedicate uh, a lot of time uh, painting these monolithic uh, 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 veneers, these monolithic crowns, and this is the result. It is fast, easy, predictable. The integration is perfect. We do not lose information. This is an incredible technique. I extremely recommend you to uh, start considering in your daily, in your daily work because. What you see is what you get. You can work faster and in a very predictable way, thanks to Dental Cat on all these fantastic features. I would like to show you this new incredible future I have found in Galway, because this is not a direct mock-up. It is an indirect mock-up. Let's see. We have decided to increase one millimeter vertical dimension. I'm going to show you only the mock-up in this patient. The final case will be shown during the CEPA Congress in Spain next November. We are working on this patient right now. The new interface, start Smile Creator. Go on. One, two, three, four steps. We are going to manage images, then we are going to uh, choose proportion guides, lines, helper lines. We are going to design it, and then we are going to value the result, the simulation. A picture with the motor retractor. Let's open it with two points. I recommend you to use one point here in the most distal recognizable area, and another one in the occlusal most recognizable area in the other part of the jaw. Rotate it. Perfect. The connection between the patient and my motor retractor uh, image and my model is done. Then go on with the picture with uh, the, the picture smiling. I'm surprised because I don't know how, but it is an automatic process. It will be an automatic process in Galway, so I don't need to do anything because both images are going to be aligned automatically. It is something really, really, really fantastic because I don't want to lose time. We have not enough time in the clinic. We need to work very fast, and thanks to these new features, we can go faster. As you can see, the movements of the patients when he used the motor retractor between two images and the matching with the model is perfect, so go on. Let's continue. When you are, remember, cut out the mouth, this is automatic. For sure, you can move these points and you can correct if something is not correct. Draw the lip line. This lip line will help us to decide the correct exposition of the incisal areas. Uh, we have a little bit of this parallelism on the face of this patient. In the right side, it is not the same, and we are going to be able to control it with this lip line. It's very important to choose the correct photographies as well. The bupupillar plane. Sometimes it is not the bupupillar. Sometimes it is the bicomisural, an arbitrary one, the real horizont, or sometimes we don't know it. Try to look some information about natural head position and it will help you to decide which plane is correct for make this kind of planifications. But the software detects the pupillas, and you can move these points if you consider necessary. Then you rotate the image, and automatic uh, custom, custom view is generated. The smile uh, 
creator smile design custom view. So I don't lose the position of my models in the articulator. Let's analyze the face of the patient, the midline, the mathematic midline is automatic, the lines in the pupilla, the proportion guide, the speed curve. If you are going to make a chrome lightning, it is very useful to use this positive or, the, or, or this negative curves to value the position of the necks of the gingival area of this teeth you are going to make a crown lightning. Sorry about my English is terrible, but I will try to speak is it English. So the planification is already done. I don't need any more. The patient is looking in front of me and she's going to help me to decide what kind of teeth I must choose because I'm going to be able to see the result before. I can send this result to the patient. I can choose different kind of teeth, different kind of tooth. I can make different mock-ups if we consider necessary. I can make different planifications and send two, three, four planifications to the doctor, to the patient. It is a new way of communication. I rotate all the teeth simultaneously. I can move one by one. I can change the proportion. I can change the size. Always the same. It is very, very, very easy to do. Once our planification is done, we value the result, we can see the result. Uh, we can change some small, make free formings if we, we consider necessary. I uh, can change the color. I, use, I, li I like to use white teeth because all my patients want wi white teeth. So I don't never use A3, A4, no, no, all just white, and you are going to be always in the correct decision. So send to the patients white teeth and they will say, yes, I want this teeth in my treatment. Look to this. It is going to be exactly the same of what we are going to get in the mock-up we are going to do. We block out the model. I'm not going to explain it because Conan, Michel Conan has explained that uh, in his presentation, this new feature, but the model is perfect. It's blocked, so we can adapt the mock-up without retentions. Sometimes when we are going to test something in the patient's mouth and we are going to, we have not enough space. We, are, we need to uh, design bigger teeth. Sometimes we need to move the position over contour, the position of these anatomies in order to be able to test it. But I recommend you to save both positions, the position in the correct place for the future and the position over contorted to the mock-up. Save it, rename it, and when you're going to make the final restoration, you don't need to change the position. This is our mock-up. We are going to uh, print or mill, hard uh, cut, as Conan show us. I recommend you to open the Smile Creator one more time here because I have the real position of my margin and I can make fine movements because the anatomy now is different. I have not these pontics, remember? And I can make some fine movements. I can make some small modifications on this step. I prepare the model. I can uh, make a solid model with the anatomy, uh, with the model, or I can uh, only print or mill the anatomy. This is something really spectacular. We try to mill it, and we try to print it. I prefer print it because it is faster, it is cheaper, and we don't need uh, to pay attention to the position of uh, the, the, the teeth in the machine, um, the, the angulation, the radius, I don't know how can I say it in English. So the adaptation, if you print it, it will be much more better. It's the first time that the patient is going to see her own mouth in her hands. Imagine the feelings of the patient in this moment. This is going to be my new smile. This is one of the most important days in her life.
for sure he, she is going to accept the treatment if you show her this video. So the doctor sometimes prepare the small cups, start polishing it, adapting it, you can cement it, and the patient can go home with the mock-up in, his, in, in her mouth to talk with her husband, with the family, and to accept it. Yes, I want that. So this is the result of the mock-up. The patient has not prepared the teeth yet. Just it is a indirect mock-up. I think it is something you must think and start using in your daily work. Today is one of these important days in my life. I have been six months without traveling. We have been at home during this time. So thank you very much. And I would like to introduce you part of the team I cooperate with every day. Without them, I will not be able to do this kind of work. Thank you very much.